Hey folks, Killman here, Killman, at your service. And I always will be. Remember that, folks. I know, it's been a couple of days since I last did a video, but it's been, been busy. Stuff going on, real life going on. And uh, speaking of real life, or is it? <laughs> Let's just talk about a few things that are now happening. Um, around the world, but especially here in old Blighty, in the old United Kingdom. Cheers y'all, your country needs you. For what purposes though? So now we've got the rule of six, not the rule of sex. In sex, there are no rules. Except again, 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 you know. So, Bojo, has now brought in, as part of, um, what is it called, Project Moonshot. Project Moonshot. Moonshot, that's a NASA term. NASA, never a straight answer. Oh, so they're in coots there, aren't they? About doing mass COVID testing. Um, a leaked document says it's gonna cost 100 billion pounds to do the amount of testing that he intends to do. A leaked document. A document's ever just, you know, leaked. You know what I mean? Well, we've got this. You, you were meant to fucking get it. You were meant to see it. The news was meant to report upon it. This is bullshit. Laptops were left on trains, you know, by high-powered you know, ministers. Left on trains? Really? Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. So let's, um, let's break this down. The rule of six. So now, as of Monday, as of Monday, I'm recording this now on Thursday, before the impending Rule of Six Monday, when uh, you will not be able to be in groups of more, more than six. So, indoors or outdoors. There are some exem exemptions from this. Funerals, weddings, and mass hangings. Uh, now, and if you are in a group of more than six, it is now absolutely lawful. They brought the law in. That's the law. You know, you're an officer of the law. It is what I said. Anyway, you'll be dispersed and very possibly fined and also possibly arrested. That's, that's the new law now. So, and to aid with this, they're bringing in COVID marshals. There's a new marshal in town. It's got a face mask and it's virus ridden. Sheriff Covid is going to come into town. These fucking people. Basically, let's just posit this idea. And that's what it's all about, folks. Ideas. Where do ideas blossom? People talking. I mean, in today's age, yeah, it's me looking at this and talking to you. You could go on Skype, you can do WhatsApp, Instagram, whatever, whatever. A social media platform of your choice. You can put your ideas across. But over social media, it can be seen, it can be removed, it can be debunked. You know, there's many, many ways of destroying a movement, an idea, via digital media. Of course there is. But what people don't like, what governments do not like, is people getting together, physically getting together. You know, like the French underground, the resistance, and, you know, in a cave, in the woods, in a barn, in a warehouse, in an old factory, people congregating, and ideas and plans happening. If you limit the number of people, and it's six at the moment, so you won't get no Magnificent Seven, no Magnificent Six, two of them dwarfs have got to fuck right off, you know? There won't be seven samurai. Oh, no, 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 no. But that's how ideas germinate. People literally speak to each other. They can gesticulate, they can do stuff, you know, and pass notes, whatever. They don't like that. So you can still be allowed to be in a group of six, but no more, no more, in pubs and restaurants. So on the face of it, that seems like, what? Really? In pubs and restaurants, You've got to give your details in. You're already being monitored. And now 
pubs and clubs and other restaurants and stuff like will be massively massively fined and the police will be actively going in there and these covid marshals will be going in to make sure everyone is sitting separately so the idea would be well the lack of ideas and they don't like it in your own house either because you know they can't monitor you in your house well they can we all know they can because you're all carrying these little devices called smartphones you've got smart tvs you've got alexa you've got all that shit which is of course hey this ain't groundbreaking news this is not conspiracy theory this is fact it listens to you it monitors you of course it does i don't mean there's someone there like what did he say what did he say yes he, he said vaccines are full of shit yeah oh right slap him down now there's not, there might be some people listening of course there is you know that's why we have spies and communications networks but algorithms yeah oh god it's, it's on algorithms now but things do get picked up on of course they do. you know they do uh, um oh I, I saw i saw a vulture the other day and you next thing you know facebook there's a fucking advert for a, a kite shaped like a vulture the fuck did that happen oh man, that's not weird i mentioned oh, don't get me started on all that shit. but yeah ideas now but schools and the office they're okay okay so this morning i did catch a little snippet of the program this morning with philip schofield and holly willabooby and the deputy medical advisor to the government oh what's her name jenny is it jenny jenny harry's was on and she was asked a specific question about you know, can you make this make it simple and the whole thing the rule of six is that it's simple it's meant to be simple we're just in blocks of six and that's it no more you can have less i prefer less but no more than six and she said like yeah yeah that, that's to make it simple yeah and uh, to stop transmission and all this kind of stuff transmission of, of what exactly but you know let's not delve too deeply down that rabbit hole just yet so someone said to her well my daughter school girl uh, is having a birthday party uh, now all the people who are coming are from her class which is all which is more than six people in her class so can't they come oh no 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 we can't have that why not they're all in the same bubble but but it, behind closed doors in your house we wouldn't this is what she said we wouldn't be able to watch over you slip on purpose we wouldn't be able to watch over you she did try to you know further justify this by saying you know a, a parent could be there an adult could be there you know they don't want adults congregating outside schools to pick up the kids or drop the kids off. It's got to be staggered. Yeah, okay. They've given the reason for that. Yeah, yeah. All this transmission thing. Wear masks. Wear masks all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're going to put a covering over your face. Your mouth and nose are a fucking exhaust. So you're going to fucking breathe in all the shit that you've just breathed out. Yeah, that's good for you, isn't it? Yeah, that's good for you. Oh, thank you. Is this good for me? Where are all the homeless people? In this country, before COVID, we had an absolute epidemic. Not a pandemic, an epidemic. Huge proportions of homeless people on the streets. Government didn't, didn't give a shit, didn't care. Never has cared. Doesn't want him. Doesn't look after them. Not interested. Covid comes along. They're all off the streets. And where are they? Well, nothing too sinister. They're in hostels. They've been housed. And this morning on BBC Radio Merseyside, uh, I heard someone saying on the Tony Snell show, the breakfast show, that yeah, oh, well, we've took all the homeless in, and we, what we're going, we're going to give them laptops, and we're going to train them so they can literally go up and look for where using their laptops and we've given them smartphones as well the government never cared about the homeless before it didn't want to get them housed it didn't want to give them jobs 
but now it's given them laptops and smartphones so that even the homeless people, the ones who would be overlooked ordinarily and not cared about, they're on the streets and they could congregate in more than six, they could spread ideas, grassroots of rebellion there, bring them in, give them devices, monitoring again. Now, I am not your big fucking conspiracy theorist. I, I know a lot of things that have happened and I have my theories about them. Um, and I don't listen to, you know, a lot of conspiracy stuff, which you've got to learn how to disseminate fact from fiction. What I'm saying now could be absolute fiction. I don't think it is. Personally, I think I've managed to open my eyes a bit more, listen, read between the lines. Don't just take what you're handed all the time. But why should you? Why should you? But they're bringing in a society now where you will not be able to question things. Like, where are all the dead people from coronavirus? Where are all these 40 odd thousand? Incidentally, same figure, roughly, that people, that are people dying every year from chest infections, pneumonia, um, other conditions of a certain age group. And of course, you do know that when someone goes in for like a fractured leg, you will be COVID tested. Well, cool. oh, that stands to reason, obviously. And then you get your leg set and all that. And then two weeks later, you go out and get hit by a bus. Well, your death gets put down as COVID. True. Facts, figures. They bamboozle you with all these numbers. How many fucking people have died? If 40 odd thousand die every year, and already we've had 40 odd thousand from, from COVID as well, on top of that, so that's 80 odd thousand people have died. I live by a cemetery. I haven't seen any fucking funerals. I haven't seen any funerals. I haven't seen pictures of bodies piled up every where, where, where are these people who've died? No, where are they? Where are they? I don't know. Maybe they have. I don't know where they are. Are they in a landfill? I don't know. Just don't forget, you couldn't even have many people at a funeral. Now, apparently from Monday, you can. You can have, what, up to 20, I think it is. So, you know, the rule of six, but 20 in some circumstances. Does that include the corpse as well? I would like to know. A lot of things going on. A lot of things I could discuss. Um, but I'll be honest, there's whether even only a fraction of what I'm saying has a sinister sort of background or a hidden agenda, then that's terrifying in itself. So people, all I'm doing is putting my thoughts out there, whether this video lasts, gets taken down, you know, or they leave it up because it just then gets picked apart and debunked, you know, because that's all part of it too, you know. Don't you dare question the establishment. Don't you dare question it. And by the way, I, I'm not saying that every single person involved in this, and there's, that would be millions, tens of millions of people, you know, people doing their job, they're told what to do. And they might be thinking, this is fucking ridiculous. But are they going to act on it? This is what, this is how rebellions and civil wars do start. It's a groundswell. It's opinion, it's people talking, it's people gathering. And this whole thing does appear to be structured in such a way as to stop that taking place. Rule of six at the moment, that number will come down. And of course, what was it they said yesterday? Well, Christmas, it won't be over by Christmas. So they've effectively cancelled Christmas. It is the Sheriff of Nottingham, you know? It's Alan Rickman and cancel Christmas. They have. They have. I don't have any answers to this. I have sneaking suspicions. Um, and as each day seems to unfold, they only get cemented even further. And of course, you run the risk of looking like a complete tit, saying anything, anything that goes against the establishments, because everybody, the mass, you know, the herd, just believe. Just get told and just like, I just want to just get up in the morning, have me breakfast, watch a bit of telly, 
go to work, have a pint afterwards, watch the match, that's all I want to do. I don't want to question things. No. I don't want I want to sit and watch movies all the time. I want to sit and review masks. I want to do that. I want to go and get pissed all the time. I want to dance like a fucking loon. As I was doing quite happily, you know, every single Friday and Saturday before all this fucking shit storm hit. Now I've got to do it behind closed doors. And make sure that there's only five witnesses. No more than that, because that would be more than six people altogether. In one household. Oh, the other exception, of course, is if you've got a family of more than six. Oh, that's nice of them, isn't it? You know. Oh, and the office and the school, they're, they're perfectly COVID safe. Otherwise, you wouldn't be there. You want us to go back to work. You've got the kids back in school. Public transport, which you told us to shun and avoid. Now we need to do it. We need to get on the buses. So you're putting us in environments where you're going to have more than six people anyway. So, you know, if you're going to propagate all these theories and ideas, oh, sorry, all these directives and policies, think them through. Think them through. So, you're going to have Covid marshals. Who are these people going to be? Oh, at the moment, uh, they will be volunteers, but some might be recruited. I've just heard that before on the news. And there is a rumour about them getting paid £30,000 a month or something like that. Fucking hell, I'll do it. I could do with that cash. I'd be the best fucking Covid marshal ever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Tell you what, tell you what, I'll let, let you go if you all subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Covid guilt man! You know. Now, there's something wrong with the price of fish in Denmark. Something definitely smells here, folks. It does, it does. Uh, all I'm saying is open your eyes, look around, don't take everything at face value. Don't take what you're being told as being true. Some of it may be, but a lot of it definitely isn't. But just be aware the journey to enlightenment begins with opening your eyes and learning how to think for yourself and not be told all the time. That's all it is. So, folks, I might even review House 2 later on, as I promised I would. Although, I can, I can sum it up right now. House 2 is shit. Don't bother with it. <laughs> review done. It is. It's crap. You know, every once in a while I will get onto some kind of current affairs thing. Well, whether you like current affairs or not, current affairs are now actively involving you, changing your life, changing everything that you did, everything that you thought about, everything you thought you were. It's all being changed around you under this banner of coronavirus. In the meantime, and indeed, that conspiracy ridden in between time, I urge you all, be careful, be vigilant, look after yourselves and your own. Because there's people out there in authority who are masquerading behind trying to care for you and don't care for you at all. It is true. You can take that as gospel. So, please, keep it Celtic, keep it Celtic. Try and keep a smile on your face, spring in your snap, twinkle in your eye. I would say a big grill on your face, but that mask is going to hide it. So, anyway, please, I have been and always shall be killed, man. Ladies! And speaking of Christmas, well, there won't be 12, my 12 days of Christmas now, will there? I'm going to be six. I'm probably far less by then. <laughs>